In this specific video, you're going to learn how to customize your audio player for WordPress. So in the previous video, we talked about installing the audio player and creating the audio folder and uploading MP3 files. And we're going to talk about customizing that and getting it onto a post or a page. Previously, we uploaded an MP3 file to this location here. Before we actually post the audio player into a post or page, if you click on display, you can actually change what the player looks like. So currently the player width is 290 pixels. It says you can enter a value in pixels, 200 or a percentage. So we can actually decrease the size if we want to do that. So we can put 200 or 250. You can change the background color as you can see here you can change different things what you need to do is just choose a certain thing and as you choose it you can see that it changes However, in this case, I'm just going to leave it by default, everything the same. I'm going to leave it as is. You can change the background color of this audio player. You can reset the color scheme if you want to. Let's say you want to start from scratch again. Click on display and start from scratch there. Options here, you can disable animation. If you don't like the open and close animation, you can disable it here. So what that means is every time you click on this and this, there's an animation. However, I, I would keep the animation just because it looks good. You can show the remaining time. So you can see five minutes is left. And if I uncheck that, this should disappear. You can disable the track information and switch to RTL layout right to left and I'm just gonna leave it as is click on save changes you can have feed options which allows you and what this basically is is if you want a user to take a specific action for example feed options if you choose download link that basically tells the audio player hey Anybody that listens to this audio can download the specific file. If you do nothing, then it just is by default, stays at the same. Custom, if you do custom, you can actually make people view your whole post before they can actually listen to your audio file. But in this case, we're going to choose nothing because I don't want people downloading the audio file. And if you click podcasting here, this is a really, really cool feature. This basically allows you to add, let's say an introduction and an ending. So pre-append audio clip. Let's say for example that I have an interview. I have 10 interviews and instead of having to add an audio clip introduction and introducing the interview, I can just include a standardized pre audio clip, which will basically show up in the beginning. And if I include this, this will show at the very end. So let's say for example, that I say introducing WordPress installation blog, you know, I'm going to talk about installation tips and tricks. And then you move on to the actual clip. And at the end of that clip, you have some music and say, hey, you know, this is what you need to do, blah, 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 and so forth. So this is a really cool feature. Uh, in this case, we're just going to leave it blank. And advanced, this here is just the alternate content for excerpts. You see WordPress automatically creates excerpts for your posts. 
However, for your audio player, you can insert the excerpt right here. You can change the initial volume. If you think your target audience has a slower connection, you can have a buffer, which basically means for five seconds, it's going to load. And then after five seconds, it'll start playing. You can check this for policy file. If you don't know what that means, then you don't need to check that. However, these are for advanced users and advanced customization. Encoding enables this to encode the URLs to your MP3 file. So basically protects the MP3 files from being downloaded. So we're going to click on save changes. And now we're ready to put the audio player onto a post. So the easiest way to add the specific audio player pointing to a specific MP3 file is to locate where your files are located. So right now I am locating, looking at here and I'm going to right click and copy the link address. And basically all I need to do is enter this link address into a specific post. So let's say for example that I click on add a new and I'm going to talk about, let's say interview audio number one. All you need to do in the visual editor is to add the direct link to the MP3 file. So remember if I go back to the audio player, if I've checked this here, all I need to do is add the direct link, click on publish, and that's it. So I'm going to go view the post so that you can see. And as you can see here, the audio player has been added. And simply click play and that's it.